This is the day the Roomba died. I got Chica when she was about eight months old. She was just super cute, lovable, bubbly, really attentive, would look in your eyes and just stare at you. Also stares at walls, so I don't know how much of a conclusion you can draw from that. <laughs> she has some unique quirks, too. I feel like every dog has, like, those one or two quirks that you're just like, huh. How did I roll the dice and get this? Yeah. She can stare is good, though. She'll stare in your eyes for a long time, and she'll pant while she mm -hmm. does it, and it's really, really adorable and also kind of concerning after a while. Yeah. I remember we were planning the tour, and I was wearing a watch that was reflecting sunlight onto the brick wall, and she spent like 20 minutes trying to eat the brick wall, and I had no idea why for a long time. Yeah. Oh, she loves She loves lights. And lights. And yeah. So she's adorable, right? She's mm -hmm. perfect dog in every way, yeah. except that uh, she wasn't potty trained, right? Mm. So so on one particular day, I was out for many hours, um, and I get back late afternoon. No one else is there. I open the door. Actually, before I even open the door, I notice that something is very wrong because there is an odor emanating from the door. It's the smell of poop. Mm. And I'm thinking, oh no, Chica must have shat near the door. I better be careful opening it. I don't want to smear it all over the floor. What an ironic thought. Because the moment I open the door, a wave of smell punches me in the face. It is the most barbarically horrible odor of pure shit stabbing into my nostrils. <laughs> And I think, holy crap, how could this possibly be? And my eyes are kind of stinging from the odor. And through my blinking tears, I notice that there's a new texture to the wood grain on the floor. And I'm like, ah, oh, I don't remember there being such a stain to that wood. Upgrade. An upgrade. Yeah. And this is true because my brain couldn't possibly fathom what I saw. <laughs> and after a few moments of bearing the stench, I look long enough to realize that's not the wood. Somehow, someone has paintbrushed poop over every square inch of the floor. And when I say every square inch, I mean every square inch of the floor in a perfect lawnmower, like pristine lawn, alternating this lines. This is a big floor, too. This is a good sized floor. Big floor it's like a kitchen living room dining room combo yeah. area Open right floor if i'm remembering the, where this was yes. yeah it's a big area and <laughs> i i stare at this and my brain just can't process this because there is so much poop everywhere and i'm i'm looking around and and thankfully the one area where there wasn't poop was the landing from the front door and there's like a balcony dividing it and like two steps going down to the main living room that's the open area and i look over the railing and i'm just surveying it you know like oh this is my kingdom but this is this is my poop kingdom <laughs> and i my eye is tracing this path all the way to the left and i find the culprit in the corner and it's not Chica. You may think that Chica would be sitting ashamed. No, Chica was actually wagging her tail next to me, <laughs> ready to greet me, all happy and bubbly and looking at me with a smile on her face. In the corner was a Roomba that was tangled up in fur, smeared in poop, and somehow upside down. And that's the biggest mystery to me. That That is the biggest mystery to me. Chica's like, I'm gonna be in so much trouble for this and just like takes it out. I mean, that is an option. That is an option. Uh, but Chica was suspiciously clean. You know, she wasn't smeared in anything. So I don't think that she was involved because I would have seen paw prints of her walking through it all, oh, right? That's and true. That's I, true. I mean, and I know how pristine it was because I had to clean this up. So we had a Roomba. And if you don't know what a Roomba is, it's a robotic vacuum that automatically cleans your floor. And what Chica had done is she pooped as far out from the living room as she could, but she pooped right next to the Roomba dock because it automatically goes back. And while I was away, it decided that now was the best time to clean it. And it just rolled over that first poop patch and it carried it the entire way through its entire <laughs> journey of cl cleaning, quote unquote. Well, and those Roombas are meticulous. They get every <laughs> single square inch of <sighs> floor so that you know you're confident you've got a clean floor. Yeah. You don't want to miss a spot. <laughs> <laughs> I can attest to a Roomba's thoroughness, and I can't believe that it waited until it got every square inch before dying. Like, it really wanted to make sure its last job was done right. <laughs> 
I remember the first time you told this story, I had tears in my eyes for like an hour afterward. I was laughing so hard because the thought of you having to like figure out how to even start <laughs> cleaning this up. Yeah. And the mystery involved. Yeah, no, I'd love for you to tell the story of how exactly you approached that. Did you have to walk on the poop floor or did you just like, how did that start? Thankfully, the access to the kitchen. So it's an open floor plan. So there's like no doors bridging, but the kitchen is a separate unit and the living room and the, the, the like the back, like not a room but back area was where the poop was contained so the Roomba had only gotten that area a part of the kitchen and all of the living room so there's another path to get there so I I mean I'm literally in shock for a good 10 minutes just looking at this looking back at Chica looking at the dead Roomba looking at the poop like I I have to you know get my bearings and thankfully I had the foresight in this house to have a mop and a bucket uh but that 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 kind of like you know me saying oh good there's a mop you don't realize how much poop water you create from having to <gasps> meticulously mop up smeared poop over everywhere and and not only that the smell but what i was worried about is that how quickly i got used to the smell which made me think that my the nerves in my nose got burned away from the sheer quantity of poop in the air like i was i was part poop and it, that's why you have to chew your food for five minutes now, so you can taste it again <laughs> yeah, all my nerves got burned away in that horrible day <laughs> So like I'm I'm going at this with bleach, right? So I got like the harshest cleaners. I don't care about the wood anymore, like because the wood is already a lost cause if I don't get at this. So literally, it's just like I would mop as much as I could, which was not as much as you think. <laughs> like before, I could that water was not good anymore. And I I spent the next probably like it was day when I started. It was bedtime when I was done, uh -huh. and uh, so I spent a good four or five hours just cleaning this, and I would go through it again and again because I worried that the smell would never go away and it still <laughs> concerns me to this day that it got I got it to the point where I was tolerable of it but like maybe I wouldn't know if the smell was still there that that, that was so much poop and she was such a small dog at the time but she pooped so much oh she pooped big she pooped Wait, why don't you try replicating it and see if you notice the smell again? Then you'll know if uh, you're cured or not. Oh, man. I, I don't know. It, it was weird because that was the mo the day that she stopped pooping inside and she understood the concept <laughs> of pooping out. She had to sit there and smell her own shit being smeared for hours and was like, oh, my God, this is what I've done. I mean, what does that do to a dog's brain to see that you, you know you pooped if you're a dog, but then to see this horrible robot that you don't understand what it is, take your poop and put it everywhere. It's like, oh, God, no. Yeah, no, I, I can only imagine the progression because she probably looked and was like, eh, this mm -hmm. is my house now. Yeah. Huh. And then the robot comes and starts in. She's like, hey, oh, he's spreading it around. Oh, cool. 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 Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, he's spreading, he's spreading it everywhere. Wait, dad's going to come back. Yeah. Oh, no. And like, she gets just sitting here terrified watching this happen for however long, an hour or two hours, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you get home and she's like, hey, I didn't do it. <laughs> Never again. Before that moment, she's watching this all happen, and she noticed the Roomba pause in the corner, and she's looking at it. She gets a glint in her eye. She crawls up behind it. There's a lightning strike behind her. She's back illuminated. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, the Roomba is dead in the corner. The story should be the day the Roomba was murdered. Anyway. So we have the front porch massacre and the shitty living room massacre. <laughs> yeah, you right about that. You right. Imagine like if you'd called a cleaning service, like, hey, could you guys get someone out here to help me clean oh today? They show God. up and they open that door and there's just shit <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. You know how in movies the cleaner's always like, well, we've always seen worse. This is the worst thing that they've seen that they compare <laughs> yeah. it to if they walked in the door. <laughs> they get home from that day, they're like, it's happened. <laughs> I've officially encountered the worst home I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It was shit everywhere. It was nothing but shit. In fact, the house was pristine if it weren't for the shit. But there was so much shit. And they quit their job that night. Mm -hmm. Just imagine you on the phone with that, and you're like, no, listen, I don't even know if you want to come. Like, I'm trying to warn you, and they're like, hey, buddy. <laughs> We've seen it. I work at UDF. <laughs> I've worked at Jimmy John's. I've cleaned those bathrooms. Nothing can be worse than that. You have no idea. I tried to warn you. Thought they were fucking wrong. <laughs> <sighs>